How you doing, Jersey? Welcome to the Star Ledger Newsroom, Thursday, March 12th. Well, Governor John Corzine unveiled an ugly state budget on Tuesday that relies on tax hikes, spending cuts, and federal stimulus money to close a huge budget gap. And as I sat there listening to the speech and then listening to talk radio later on and perusing the blogosphere, I thought to myself, man, this guy just handed the election to the Republicans. It seemed like a huge tsunami of anger was being unleashed. When you go out on the street and talk to random people, just average people walking around, you find a pretty different reaction. Check it out. I'm not thrilled about the um, not being able to deduct the property taxes because you're basically going to be paying taxes on top of your, uh, on top of your tax. taxes on your taxes. Taxes on your taxes. Don't like that at all. Well, the property taxes is a big big issue because that's one of the few things we can deduct, and without that, it's. It, it, I don't think it's a good idea. But the point is that everybody has to do something because we have to um, see that the most number of people that can possibly be saved can be helped. You know, that um, it's not just about looking out for ourselves, it's about looking out for everybody. What do you think of Corzine's the job that he's doing? Uh, I think he's doing, I think the best that he can, I think, Trying to reduce the expenses causes a lot of problems, a lot of discontent on people's part. But if you don't do anything about it, it's going to cause even more discontent. So I think he's doing the right things. None of it's going to make anybody happy. I think he's doing a great job. I think so. That's right. He had a, a speech this week where he said he's going to have to raise some taxes on people and uh, people can't deduct their homeowner's insurance and Well, like tough that. times call for tough measures. It's tough all around. It's too big of a job, uh, I think, for one person. You know, I think it really uh, comes down to a, a lot of people, uh, a lot of people's input as opposed to just one person, you know. And, and I think he's getting that. It's just, uh, it's just a tough nut. You know, he's trying to fix things that have been going on for a long time. What kind of job do you think the governor, John Corzine, is doing? Uh, no comment. <laughs> Does that mean you don't think he's doing a very good job? I did notice that he wants to pay for all day preschool for children. For including my three-year-old daughter. Well. Which I was very happy to hear about. Because they'll probably be napping half the day, so. <laughs> That's <laughs> true. Pay for them to nap. <laughs> yeah, three-year-old is expanding, hopefully, the three-year-old, three- and four-year-old. That's good. It's good for me. It's good for you, but not for the taxpayer. I was listening to something on TV the other day where it said we've lost 650,000 jobs nationwide the past month, and the only area that's grown in jobs has been the government, and the government grew 151,000 jobs. That includes state and federal government. So everybody's hurting, everybody's cutting back, and government is growing. And uh, nobody wants to see the cuts, but nobody wants to get to the point where they have to pay more tax also. So it's maybe the best thing he could be doing is trying to cut even more than he has in terms of services. I read the paper a couple of days ago regarding the budget cuts. It's right. going to hit the middle class. Right. I think he's doing what he needs to do. I'm hoping the stimulus money that uh, the bill that's just been signed gets applied to help offset what he's trying to do for 2010. But uh, I'm one of those people that's going to be feeling the effects. But overall, I think he's doing what he needs to do Truth hurts. Somebody's got to pay the bills, you know, it's just tough times, you know. And the, the property tax deduction has been removed, you know. You, you, you can't deduct the, the property taxes from your estate taxes anymore, so that's, that's a big Oh, my goodness. We have to move out of New Jersey. <laughs> so that's it. Frankly, I was, I was really surprised to see that people, most people, had some level of sort of understanding uh, and sort of almost sympathy for Corzine, given the uh, economic crisis that we're in, that these, the sentiment that he's kind of just doing the best that he can with a horrible situation. So maybe that's Corzine's chance. Maybe that's that one sliver, little sliver of understanding that maybe he can key in on, hone in on, and uh, try to sell this thing and uh, maybe actually sell it to voters in November. Pretty slim, pretty small chance, pretty small window he's got to get through, and he's going to have to be a great salesman, and he's going to have to really connect with people in order to do that. And those are two things Corzine is not very good at. He does, however, have a ton of money, and that helps. That wraps up Ledger Live for today. 
We want to hear from you. Shoot us an email at ledgerlive at starledger.com. Of course, you can log on and sound off on the news blogs at nj.com, and a lot of people are doing that for sure with Corzine's budget. All right, Jersey, take it easy.